Hello everybody, this is Ashley Verma and intern with Lexus and & Company and today in this video I will be dealing with a case named uh, Score Information Technologies Limited vs. Uh, Greater Infra, uh, Infra Projects Limited. The citation of the case is uh, OMPT co uh, Commercial 59 by 2020. It was appealed in the Delhi High Court uh, and the date of the judgment is January 28, 2021. The bench consists of Honorable uh, Mr. Justice Vibhu uh, Bakru. Head notes of the case is Section 12 of Arbitration and Conciliation Act uh, 1996. Facts of the case includes uh, the following. The petitioner filed the uh, present petition under Section 14 and 15 of the Arbitration and Conciliation Act 1996. Further seeking that the mandate of the uh, learned uh, sole arbitrator uh, unilaterally uh, appointed by the respondent be terminated. According to the petitioner, the learned uh, arbitrator was de jure, unable to act as the arbitrator under the, uh, under the Arbitration Act and uh, Arbitration and Conciliation Act 1996. The petitioner contended that the unilateral appointment of the arbitrator was contrary to the various decisions, including the judgment of the Supreme Court in, in uh, there was a case uh, referred, Perkins Eastman Architects DPC and others versus HSCC India Limited. Uh, arbitration application number 32 of uh, 2019 decided on 26-11-2019. Uh, uh, so the case have, uh, heavily relied. Just a second. So the case heavily relied um, upon per uh, Perkins Eastman judgment and held that in terms of the proviso of section tw uh, 12 clause 5 of arbitration and conciliation at 1996, the parties may waive the uh, applicability of section 12 clause 5 of the act. However, uh, the said waiver must be uh, after the dispute have arisen or and uh, may be uh, may by way of uh, an express agreement in writing. Further, consident, uh, further in this case, there was no uh, written agreement between the parties whereby the, uh, the petitioner has agreed to waive uh, the applicability of section 12 clause 5 of the Arbitration and Conciliation Act. Uh, this court, uh, this court was also unable to accept uh, that the proceeding recorded by the arbitrator would uh, constitute such as express, uh, such as an express agreement in the fact of this case. The petitioner had uh, pointed out that the uh, date, its representative, were not assisted uh, by the uh, by any counsel. It was also uh, also submitted by the petitioner that the uh, proceeding of the day, which are not signed by the parties, incorrectly recorded the uh, record that the petitioner had no objection of the appointment of the learned arbitrator arbitrator yes uh, the petitioner had uh, immediately uh, the petitioner had immediately on receipt of the notice of appoint appointment of the learned arbitrator had objected to uh, such appointment further it was noted that the petitioner had in its uh, letter dated uh, 23rd uh, december 2019 clearly stated that it had not submitted to the uh, it has not submitted to the jurisdiction of the learned sole arbitrator Although the petitioner had uh, not specifically referred uh, to its objection to the respondent unilaterally appointing uh, the learned arbitrator, it nonetheless had expressed its opinion uh, to appoint the learned arbitrator. Thereafter, the petitioner, uh, the petitioner had objected to the appointment of the learned arbitrator and contended that the respondent had uh, appointed the arbitrator as a uh, dilatory uh, tactic uh, to, uh, to withhold the payment due to uh, the petitioner due to the petitioner yes uh, thus the court refused uh, refused to accept the uh, petition uh, refused to accept that the petitioner had no uh, had not objected the uh, appointment of the alerted arbitrator subsequently by the uh, by an email dated on 10th september 2019 uh, the the petitioner had expressly stated that the unilateral appointment of uh, the tribunal is contrary to the decision of the Sup uh, supreme court in Perkins Eastman Architect D, uh, DPC and others versus, versus HSCC India Limited Sapura. So finally, these were the facts, and the issue which is include, uh, included in the case is just one. That is whether the petitioner uh, the, whether the petitioner has waived the applicability of Section uh, 12 Clause 5 of the Arbitration and Conciliation Act. Uh, so the judgment the, the judgment of the court is that petition was allowed. The mandate of the learned arbitrator unilaterally appointed by the respondent was terminated and the justice uh, 
जस्टिस रिटायर्ड आर सी चोपड़ा अ फॉर्मर जज ऑफ दी कोर्ट वॉज अपॉइंटेड एज द सोल एडविट्रेटर टू द एजुडिकेशन टू एजुडिकेट द डिस्प्यूट दैट हैव अराइजन बिटवीन द पार्टीज इन कनेक्शन विद द वर्क ऑर्डर डेटेड ऑन इलेवेंथ इलेवेंथ ऑगस्ट टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन सो दिस इज इट इन द केस होप यू लाइक इट थैंक यू सो मच